two world wars of the 20th century obviously were brutal in the extreme, uh, bringing death and horror on a scale never been seen before and hopefully never ever seen again. Here today, this monument here actually, I do remember, the 102 Lutonians who are buried in this cemetery who were victims of the war. Obviously there were many hundreds and probably thousands of other people from Luton who died elsewhere, probably on the battlefield, who were buried where they fell. But today we're here predominantly to remember the 102 who were actually buried in this cemetery. It's likely those many of those 102 and the thousands that died abroad were supporters of the club. They possibly saw the team play in the very early days prior to the First World War when the, the Hawks brothers were prevalent. And maybe they saw Joe Payne score those legendary 10 goals in the 1930s. There's also seven players who were actually registered with the club at the time of their deaths. They're not buried in the cemetery, they are buried probably on the, in the war field. But again, we can remember those today. By remembering the 102 brave Lutonians buried here, we're ensuring that they will never be forgotten. The citizens of Luton, and especially everyone at Luton Town Football Club, will ensure that is the case. If I can ask the, the players maybe to place the, the wreath on the memorial. And now we'll stand for the last post and then a minute of silence and then the valley too. Thank you very much. They grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.